Hi guys, I'm Abdullah here from the channel Charles Encyclopedia. So today uh, I'll be teaching you guys how to use the Boolean modifier in Blender. This is Blender 2.92, so it's the latest version of Blender. I mean, I'll I'll try to do a geometry nodes tutorial next, but for now I am gonna focus on the uh, Boolean modifier. So uh, I haven't done much. All I have done is just added a UV sphere and shaded it smooth. That's all I did. I promise. So now uh, you have to click on this smooth thing or you can press G and Z but it's not exact. I want it to be precise. So I'm going to put it to one corner. So like a 3D corner maybe. Yeah. I'm going to put it right there. And if, I, and if I go to the Z axis I can do something. Yeah. Right. So that's what you have done. Now we have to select our cube again and we have to go into the modifiers tab that's this wrench thing here i don't know what you call it uh you have to click on boolean and you see this eyedropper thing here we have to click that and you have to click on the object which is the sphere you can switch between the fast and exact solvers the exact solver is a little bit slow i mean for for situations like this it's actually instantaneous but usually if it's a big build you want to be using a fast solver but if you want it to be precise exact solver exact solver it's like uh, in the previous video i talked about how cycles and render so cycles is a photorealistic renderer but it's slow and how ev is uh, the real time renderer but it's not you can't use it for final renders and that stuff yeah this is the same situation exact is like cycles and fast is like ev okay i was talking too much about the rendering engines uh so that's all the settings you need to change and now if you press this thing here that will hide the sphere you can even delete the sphere off if you want but you need to apply the modifier so you know okay so to prove this see if i move the cube it's uh, the, the thing is moving so what you need to do is you have to apply the modifier and then uh, you know if I move around the cube it's fine nothing happening so I can make that sphere come back now since I'm too lazy to put another cube here and put another UV sphere shade that smooth and do all that what I'm gonna do oh by the way you shade smooth by right clicking on it shade smooth okay good so what I'm going to do is the laziest thing ever. I'm just going to rotate the cube to the other side. So it's on the other corner. And now if we add another boolean modifier and we have to, well, again, it's a sphere. That's the object. If you go to intersect, then, and also we have to apply the modifier. Uh, Wait, what? No, I didn't want to duplicate this. It's the uh, trackpad of my function. Okay, now that you have applied it, if we move the sphere, actually, no, if you move that cube, you can see that this chunk of the cube is what's left. So I'm gonna control Z that cause, uh, yeah, I'm gonna control Z that because, you know, otherwise I'll have to add in another cube. Okay, there you go. Now, if you put it to union, what it's going to do is like it's going to join both of these objects together. So it's an it's in the exact solver. And if I apply this, now both objects are well joined. Uh, you can see that there's only one mesh here. You can't like select the sphere separately. If I select that, it goes to this sphere. If if I tap on the sphere, okay, I'm gonna deselect everything. Sphere, nope. If I select on the cube, nope. It's all in the same object. That's the union section in the Boolean modifier, and that is it. That's that's the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching the video. Please please subscribe. Uh, this there'll be a circle over there. Up up yeah, it's it'll be up there. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, yeah, have a great day.